Let's talk about Werewolf by Night and how great it was, giving me that 1940s feel. One of the better projects that the MCU has put out. Best Disney Plus for sure. Let's get into it. We're the Phronesis Project. I'm Rick. This is Lauren. Werewolf by Night is just a giant mashup love letter to all of these old movies, which I absolutely loved and lived on growing up. Let's talk about Werewolf by Night, where we follow the protagonist that is Gael Garcia Bernal. Yes. Jack Russell. Mm Mm-hmm. Right? And let's talk about his character real quick. Um, To me, he seemed like this calculating Mm -hmm. methodical uneasy Mm -hmm. and and conflicted in the sense where like he seeks out to do good he's a good doer then he Mm -hmm. flips into the werewolf where all hell breaks loose he Mm -hmm. can't control for the most part what he does something that's in him that's not him is what he says right Mm -hmm. and then we have this other girl named elsa Mm -hmm. right yeah like frozen Uh, right and let's talk about her she's a stone-faced Super serious, uh-huh. flat note face. Resourceful, like she's mm-hmm. she's willing to like figure out how she can use her environment or her enemies' yeah. weapons against them, or, or them, to her advantage. Yeah, she's she's kind of a badass. I like her. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Um, and then she has this, you know, this chip on her shoulder. Obviously, she has this oh, attitude like yeah. she's got something to prove. Where she yeah. wants that bloodstone, but. It's not really handed to her. She has no, to kind of work. She's got to earn it because of all the bullshit. Yeah, so she's definitely got that like animosity chip on her shoulder, like you said. Yeah, and that girl, she reminds me a little of like Anne Hathaway crossed with the girl that played Jessica Jones. Uh, what's her name? Kristen Ritter. Kristen Ritter. Yeah. Um, I definitely see Kristen Ritter. The whole Anne Hathaway thing is, I'm not seeing it. But I feel like Kristen Ritter. Yes, Jessica Jones. You could be sisters. You could be her older sister, for sure. And let's talk about the other main figure in this mm-hmm. story. That's the stepmother, right? Mm-hmm. Versa? Versa is her name. Right. She's this insincere. Giving you that evil Disney stepmom. Yeah. For sure. Very sinister. Mm-hmm. Super. And completely drunk on power. Oh, my God. Yeah. She's giving you, like, mentally unstable, for sure. Like, her acting is really good. I'm like, you remind me of somebody who's not right. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, she was really great in her role. Yeah. I think she brought a lot of fun energy in being like uh, this malevolent piece of shit. Yeah, you know, there's a prestige mm-hmm. in being a hunter. Yeah, definitely. And, right? She like she tries to. Whole, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, she yeah. just tries to portray that, and I think it it comes off in in certain mm-hmm. areas where like, oh, she's a badass, where she's talking like to mm-hmm. that dude, and she's like, we try to have mercy on you and mm-hmm. the innocent lives you take, you dirty yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, you know? basically. She gives me um, the vibes of, like, a slave owner, you know? Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, I'm serious. Like, she's just like, yeah. I'm doing What's you your a... name, boy? Yeah, I'm giving you a favor by killing you. Then, you know what I mean? That's how, like, she's she's really evil. That's how, that's what I get from her. I'm like, she did yeah. a great acting job. I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling I, you. Yeah. I don't know. That, that's crazy, but... But I like the whole ambiance of the movie. I love the whole... The house or the mansion looking like the Griffith Observatory here in L.A. I like that a lot. I think that's pretty cool. And the whole, the narration, I think it it sounds like The Watcher to me. Almost a little it, bit. It, it sounds familiar. I wouldn't say The Watcher. I don't know who it is. I think. And mm-hmm. with this dude, like I said, he just, he feels more familiar like we've mm-hmm. seen him in other projects. Or we've heard him. I don't Not know. Not seen him, but I've, heard him. I really think it's just like auto tune yeah. or something. It's I think you it's think him. So? I think so. We got to look at the credits. We're going <laughs> We're going to look at that and put it on the screen. The scream in the beginning of it and the music changed like I said, the whole grainy scene. Like I really am digging that whole 1940s giving me the What's the movie we watched? The Oh, uh, The Wolfman. The Wolfman. By, it, yeah, something Wagner, yeah. Yeah, Wagner. Uh it had a lot of like similar elements and themes like the pacing um obviously it's like probably 15 to 20 minutes shorter in, in terms of runtime werewolf by night compared is. yeah yes. werewolf by night by but werewolf by night is a lot more entertaining than so much more than the uh the wolfman because the mm, wolfman like it's I'm, it's a slow burn but it's, yeah it was also 19 like 41 when that movie came out so that had to be like the bee's knees you know the shit and it was just like very slow and a lot of just man depression era horror movies can huh, you imagine i can't even Fuck, they were still making movies during that time. They didn't give it didn't a fuck. fucking matter. Well, rich people are rich, so, you know. Fucking bread and circus. War bonds. War bonds. 
<laughs> oh, like I like where the narrator says, um, woe to the monster, monster who finds himself among them talking about like in the intro. And then it shows Gael Garcia Bernal's face. And then um, you kind of see the Mexican skeleton or Katrina is what it's called, um, like face paint. And he says that he's honoring his ancestors. So you kind of see that, even though his name is Jack Russell, because he's wearing Which like... Which is a race swap, right? It's, it sounds like it. This motherfucker ain't no Jack Russell. <laughs> no, I've never met a right. Latin man named Jack Russell or yeah. Jack. Kudos to uh, Mordro because the whole outfit and his ensemble, he's got like the mariachi, you know, garb. So like his tie has the little uh, silver... What's that movie, Coco? Reminds me of, uh-huh. isn't he in that fucking movie too? Is he? I don't know. It might be, because imagine ah, like they maybe signed. Maybe he just got a Disney contract. Okay. Right? He does Coco, then he does this. I don't know. I really don't know. That I'm going to have to look up. Yeah, Jack Russell, like, he's entering this whole fucking thing and, like, he's suspicious about it, but he's also aware, like, he's at, behind enemy lines, right? He's crossing that shit. So, hey, what about his werewolf suit? You think that's completely, like, practical, or you think they nah. have to CGI some of that? Oh, that's what I was thinking about when we watched it. One, if they were CGIing it, which I don't think they did, I feel like they could have made it look more real because I feel like it looked like the 1941 movie we watched. Huh. What, what was it called again? Um, the Wolfman. It's the just, Wolfman. It's very, yeah, it's very straightforward. The Wolfman, yeah. This is just folklore in general. Yeah, like the yeah. The Wolfman. Yeah, the Wolfman, and that's what they say in that movie too. Like all uh, cultures have some variation of, uh, you know, werewolf. And hey, the big problem with this one, it's a special presentation. It has... A shorter runtime. It's not a movie. It's not mm-hmm. a show. It's a one-off. I do appreciate like the runtime being close to the monster movies, but mm-hmm. let's say the fifteen minutes, right? Yeah. All the right. Difference. What I would have loved is to see those fifteen minutes and try to give a werewolf origin of that specific character. Yeah. You know how he references mm-hmm. like, "Hey, did this work before when she's smelling when he is smelling that oh, girl?" Oh, getting a flashback right there. Right. That, that would have been so. That would have been sweet. Cool. So like, it could have been. It could have been something that. That's paid off in the movie if you added mm-hmm. that origin in. And it's, yeah. I believe it's a first time director in the MCU, Michael Giancino. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. He's, he, remember, he's the composer. Oh, for like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He so did a good job. I mean, for your first time, I mean, you did a lot better than some of these fucking Disney Plus shows. God he did. Damn it. He did. And like, the thing again is like, there's, in terms of style, I feel like it's uh, reflective of like the 1940s. Like, so there's much. no, there's no so much like, over stylistic no, i wish you got it right boy i wish when when you had the character jack russell entering the hallways i mm-hmm. wish it was like um, a steady cam or, or of that dude walking in you know mm-hmm. so it's it's a in the frame it's like his shoulders and his head right yeah so i would have loved like the weight of the world on this dude's shoulders as mm-hmm. he's entering um enemy lines mm-hmm. and is trying to save his friend and he's looking around these images and going holy fuck these hunters don't fuck around. Yeah, that's death what she dealers. calls them, death dealers. I'm like, okay, death eater vibes. But in terms of like style, like I wish he he did something a little more modern in terms of that, like a like, steady cam one shot, like, like brought again, it together, yeah. right? Like you have the substance, you ha- you mm-hmm. have the motive behind the shot, and then mm-hmm. you just gotta shoot it and run with it, right? Uh, mm-hmm. That would have been fun, but instead it's more like. There's a lot of real close-ups and then, like, mm-hmm. medium shots, you know, where yeah. it's, let's say, like, the, the character's torso is yeah. in frame and then, you know, the head shot yeah. you know, everything above. But, I don't know, it's still it's still a very competent fucking one-off. It's still a great project. So good. One it's of the so best, good. Yeah, one of the best entries they've done. And, like, yeah, it, it mixes in that thing where, hey, the female and the male can both be competent mm-hmm. heroes in She's this story. Yeah. Right, and he's kind of just like uh, you know, I am gonna use my head and trying to get out of here, but I'm gonna need you to be the badass and do the training of your um, your answer ancestors with the the bloodstone, you know. Yeah. The whole her whole dad Ulysses and is uh he reminds me of those fortune tellers that you put a dollar in, you know what I mean, in the little boxes. Yeah. <laughs> in, the, in his fucking coffin, and the way he talks, and he's like. I'll be rotting for you. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? This is so stupid. Right, but it's a silly, like, campy yeah. tone to the movie that's... It works, it works. I'm, right. not, I'm not hating on it. Right. It works horror, really well. Horror can I said horror. Horror campy <laughs> fucking He's movies. He's a horror, too. Yeah. Um, it fucking works. No, it works really good. Um, 
And then the bloodstone is the only color in this thing, and it right I, like Schindler's List. There in that whole movie, it's black and white, and the only thing I believe that's red is like this little girl. Hmm. And I forget. I think it's what she's wearing or what hmm. the fuck. But Schindler's List, World War Two, whatever the fuck. Whatever. Yeah. The point is like, hey, it reminds me of something like yeah. that. Yeah. The only reason I bring it up, the red, it looks exactly like Wanda's chaos magic, like. The whole vibes of it, the color, the way it disperses. I'm, I'm really interested to see the origin of where the bloodstone is, even though it kind of like gives it to you briefly in like the little um, cartoon before yeah. we all start this. Again, they could have filled up some of the runtime with the bloodstone origin, like yeah, even more so than cool. what they did. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it's said to give you strength, mm-hmm. protection. And longevity. Yeah, that's what uh, Versa tells Elsa. That what what do you want with it after decades of absence, you know? And then the all of the death dealers being not all of them. Well, I think they all were. Except one was just like more vocal about it, being like salty that she. Well, we got we worked hard. How come she gets to be here? And she's like, shut the fuck up. Versa was like, shut the fuck up. This is her like blood right. She can still work for it if she wants. Yeah. So it's not going to be handed to her like she thought, you know? Yeah. So, I thought that was cool. also thought the transition from Versa's face when she's saying that Elsa can join to the skull of where they chose, like, um, you know, their little... Oh, that's right. They their placement, the, you know, and some, going in. Um, he does the little, little touches like that. Yeah, that's cool. It reminded me of uh, Doctor Strange, too, of what's his face? What's the doctor that you like? Uh, Sam Raimi. Oh, and the TVA officers. Like, I want to know what the fuck their deal is there, you know? Yeah. Maybe they're not TVA. They look like, like, why would they do the exact same outfit and, like, stabby fucking shocky thing? It looks, yeah. they look pretty damn Just, spot on to me. It could be some, like, paranormal security. I think the biggest question with this one is, like, where does this take place in the timeline? Is this the 40s? Or is this mm. now? Because they have that record player. Are they just lovers of the vintage and like they have the record player yeah but look at what everybody's wearing it's not like super old school she's wearing like a pretty modern like leather jacket (laughs) right i don't yeah it's it's like it's just confusing i wish they would have you know i think a post credit with like blade showing up or 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 black right moon knight i think that would have been something that could clear it up and go oh this is a little more the ebony blade guy there's nothing wrong with connecting it to, to bigger projects. No, like, they're just haters now at this point, and they're like, no, you don't get it because you think it's coming. You should only get it when you don't think it's coming, so fuck them. The maze looks like an Eternal set. You know how they do that whole pan up? And I was yeah. like, this fucking looks vaguely familiar, like the Eternals. Yeah, uh, and then and that maze shot before they go into it, because like, the director does some things. You talked about the transition mm-hmm. skull and face, or yeah. face to skull. Before it gets revealed, actually, there's a Dutch shot. And then it goes to the maze and it pans up and yeah. it shows you the extent of it. So it's... I know, like that, though. Yeah, I thought he, that was really cool. He does, like, hey, and then, the Dutch shot, obviously. We, we it, talked about it. That's what when it's pulling up, right? It looks yeah, really cool. Something's wrong. Yeah. Something's off. What I like about that, too, is that you see in the right hand upper corner, you see Ted running around in the corner. You, like, you just kind of see, like, a shadowy figure. Right. So I thought it was cool. Ted being the man thing. No, yeah, the monster. Mm-hmm. The man thing that lives in the swamp and mm-hmm. like potentially has the ability to. Can he go to other fucking universes? Dimensions. Like, yeah, yeah what, that shit's what? Pretty fucking crazy. What is he capable of in terms of like traveling? I'm sure they can't have him and America Chavez exist mm-hmm. in the same concept. Mm-hmm. They can just go in and out. Maybe he can go through other shit the way the Sanctorum, where you open doors oh, and like, oh, here's a fucking I love desert. That shit, here's yeah. a, right. I love the Sanctorum. Um, I'm curious about, like, that's another character I wish we had more information on. Where, like, if they wanted to include more runtime, mm-hmm. like, the origin. Of Ted. The Bloodstone. Yep. Man thing. Like, you easily could have stretched this out into a movie by boosting and bumping up yeah. some of those screen times in those specific areas. Should have gave a little bit less money to the Thor Love and Thunder. The whole, um, you know, him not wanting to fight and also being like, you. I, it's hard for me to believe that you've killed a hundred monsters and he's like mm, not in that like retrospect and they kind of like have a pack in you know her family's tomb so um i like that they work together and i think they're resourceful in that way he's a conflicted soul We're yeah like, it's almost like he's playing this as bruce banner like oh huh. fuck i'm just trying to stay alive yeah like, he's we should not just a fighter pass each yeah other. Mm-hmm. he's not yeah. a fighter in this form yeah yeah so um you know, and then she gets the, like, 
chain thingy from her from the grave from her dead aunt aunt. francis um when they're she's robbing the tomb you know so that's the thing we see her removing the bloodstone with she he goes and she goes gets ted and then yeah she scorpions that shit. yeah get over here yeah him seeing ted early on and saying i'm gonna save you and then all of this transpiring i was like wow are they all that this stupid that they just couldn't find ted in the, this this amount of time but i guess it works for the the story and the plot line right we see ted's powers for the first time and he like burns up uh, the fat guy right with like yeah like his volcano hands is like what you know like it's like lava he just disintegrates that yeah. fucker and like it's absolutely Not insane lava, yeah, the power level that yeah. he has he just like he doesn't really have to punch and kick anybody. Yeah. He just puts he lays his mitts on someone and just squishes them, squishes them to powder. Eviscerated, absolutely, yeah. completely gone from the MCU. We won't see you in Secret Wars, motherfucker. You out of here. Mm-hmm. So we see like Ted run away or whatever, and then Versa like the hunt decides, and when Elsa is like, "You guys shouldn't have it," you know, she's right because it's her blood, right? But then we get seeing her like. A dog in the cage, you know, with... What's his name? Jack Russell? Yeah, Jack Russell. Like a dog? <laughs> Jack Russell Terrier? <laughs> hey, it's... Wi- no, that's it's not Wishbone. Wishbone. Yeah, hey, it's Wishbone. Hey, it's Wishbone. Hey, Coming to your Wishbone. house. Yeah, <laughs> it's Wishbone. Hey, that's- it's Wishbone. <laughs> I'll put a, vi- a clip of that fool in his little monocle Sherlock Holmes outfit. I freaking love that Wishbone. That's the best. Rest in peace, Wishbone. Um, PBS was competent. Yeah, seriously, so... And then um, Elsa's like, fuck, you know, I shouldn't have fucking helped you. And then we see him like, shit, look at me, look at me, don't break eye contact. And like sniffing her like a dog, you know, like you see like those dog like features when he like scratching behind his ear, sniffing her. And I'm like, all right, this is not weird. And we get the whole like eyes wide shut fucking like ritual satanic shit coming yeah, in. Yeah, that's like, what's weird. Like, why are they coming in with masks yeah. in the middle of the movie when they already revealed who they are? Because like, now, now the hunt has to decide. Like, it's a sacrifice because they're going to sacrifice the fucking, we- the, the fucking daughter, the bloodline to the werewolf. That's what I'm guessing, you know? Yeah. So then she's taking the mask off and then she's got like the fucking drawn on like bloody eyes like um in the original Doctor Strange and the bad guy. Caecilius. Yeah. Caecilius, yeah, yeah got that Caecilia size going on her eyes and she's just like wild and she's fucking chanting some Latin spell around the cage with a bloodstone and then like fucking what? But yeah yeah no, when, you, when you're talking about that scene too when she's chanting the shit in the bloodstone she shoots it out I think what's cool about that shit is mm-hmm. Michael is yes mm-hmm. you know I think he shows this interesting like idea with doing a one shot mm-hmm. of the of the transformation occurring through shadows mm-hmm. and then also of Elsa reacting <gasps> so to his transformation. Cool. Yeah. Right? So we and don't see him like... actually transform. We see it in the shadow and you see her like she's doing her best just to act sitting down, holding onto the cage, and like you just see him transforming like through her because you see in the shadow That's, behind I, her. I really like that. That I, shit was fucking I think cool. it's dope. So That's like, like super nineteen forties like yeah. style. So this dude like again, a dude who's a fucking a composer Mm-hmm. For the for the movie industry, hey, and he's doesn't matter. He's you love movies, like you love this. movies, and you yeah. gotta not like you can do what you think is cool. And some yeah. people it doesn't work, and this shit fucking worked. I get that he wasn't the cinematographer for that yeah. shit, but I think it's a it, it's his idea though. You it know? could be, it yeah. could be like obviously that dude has a flair for this fucking yeah for this whole like I, I guess this kind of storytelling yeah so like the whole bloodstone transformation can happen in five seconds and, and no one wanted to tell this story feige like this was a whole big joke and really? i guess he approached feige and he's like hey do you don't want to do this and he's like he didn't take him seriously seriously this is yeah, good he was like i hope this gets the best fucking ratings and it gets smacked man, in the face because he's been better. making some stupid ass fucking yeah. decisions hey. so fuck that fool <laughs> so and then like we get you know, him fucking up everyone because we get the whole fog and we're like, oh my God, where did he go? And he fucking jumps out of nowhere and it starts fucking ripping throats out, you know? You know what that fog reminded me of? Whoa, like whoa, the whoa. wolf man? Remember huh? when the fog comes in? Oh, and like, when the fog is rolling and they're searching for the, yeah. the, the, the wolf. But I think the fog comes in when he's transforming back into a man. Yeah, yeah. He also has the fog too. Um, oh, what I also wanted to bring up was when he's fucking shit up in that first little room where it has, like, the ancient Egyptian, like, ruin paintings on it. He's fucking up Where the, you at, Moon Knight? Yeah. You he, piece of shit. Hey, yeah, 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 it wasn't that bitch. bad. I like that one. Um, 
I what? liked Moon Knight. I like Moon Knight too, but where you at, motherfucker? Oh, Goddamn. yeah, he could have been there. Anyways, fucking he's too busy in fucking Egypt or whatever. Uh, well, what's what's his third identity? He's too busy being his third identity. Jake Lockley? He's too busy no. being Jake. Jake, right? Yes, it's Jake. Yeah, it's been a long time. I know. Anyways, so we're in that room, right? Um, So we're in that room, and... It reminds me of the Netflix Daredevil scene where he's just in the hallway fucking shit up and that scene is so fucking cool. And it's just him and then like you see the the, the camera and it's getting close and then you see the blood splattering like a like a traditional horror movie where you get the blood splatter on the fucking camera. Like it's just cool and it's fast but it's like oh shit like you get the idea and like. Yeah but I gotta tell you right here I disagree me, with that shit. Uh-huh. I don't. I don't like that at all because I wish if if we're in Marvel and and we're known for our action packed sequences, and he's doing this right here where hey like you have a chance to do something practical. It's mm-hmm. a werewolf slashing motherfuckers. It's not some dude shooting lasers out of his yeah, eye or it's a ice sla- or fire. like a slashy right, film, right. like a slasher. Okay, right. Mm-hmm. So what I would have loved to see is an attempt to like. You know, John Wick, this bitch. Like, Ooh. let's do something. Keanu Reeves. That's gonna that's gonna capture the eye uh-huh. instead of like, hey, we're slowly like fucking zooming in. But it's 1941, Phil. But that's what I'm telling you. I, I I just wish he did. I get that, but I wish he still had a little bit more of a like a modern no. style to the camera movement. You still could have kept the spirit. Okay, I'm gonna have to agree to disagree with you here on this one. I feel like your point is valid. But I'm sticking with the director on this one where we are 100% into this 1941 fills with their little burned cigarette grain in the top of the film and giving me all that grainy effect. That, dude, like, that's the biggest problem I have with the Wolfman. I know it's not this, but the Wolfman, he's just beating the wolf with a stick. And with this one, like, yeah. he's actually going for it. So that's yeah, why I would have no loved equivalent to an, him, action, you know? an action style or an action <sighs> eye to the whole scene <sighs> or sequence. Hey, could it have been better? Sure. But was it good for what they were trying to do and you know what, what they were trying to achieve? Yes. If they want to just do a one shot, like let's say it's the helmet of the TVA uh-huh. or whoever the fuck it uh-huh. is. I wish there's a camera on the helmet, right? Uh-huh. Let's say that's the first guy that gets slashed and then the helmet drops to the floor, right? So then you have this floor level camera just like slightly tilting up to signify the werewolf uh-huh. is larger than life now. Uh-huh. And is slicing and cutting and eating the motherfuckers up. Would right? that have been better? Yes, for sure. That's what I'm telling you. Like, they, there's still there's still ways to do fun, dope shit with yeah. this thing. And like, hey, Michael Giancino, you're a fucking talented dude, hands uh-huh. down. You know, uh-huh. I just, hey, man, I, I think you could have done more. Maybe uh-huh. he did it in the spirit, like you say. Yeah. Complete horror movie and like, hey, the camera is gonna be more static than it's gonna be uh-huh. jumping around and doing all this energetic shit. Yeah. I mean. I, I really liked it. And then fucking Versa. I thought that bitch was already dead at this point. You know what I mean? But that hoe comes back with a fucking shotgun and is like, I'm going to kill you, fucking disgrace little bitch that you are, basically. And Elsa's just looking at her like, fuck, bitch, you're still not dead, you know? And that's when we see the homeboy Ted coming in since, you know, she saved him. He was, you know, dabbing her up like, hey, girl, I got you. And burns that bitch up, you know? He just gets, disintegrates that hoe. That's another thing I don't like. I don't like that the stepmother comes in at the end, like with with this fucking guy. He's like, "You're gonna fucking die of disappointment," and then, like, like you I lived, feel, like you lived, you lived, right? I to feel the that's un that's unnecessary as well as man thing shooting down from the roof and landing on his feet just to disintegrate her as well. I feel I like it. we could have done without those two. And it's just her and the, the fucking werewolf, right? Yeah, and, like, they have that exchange, and then he runs off into the fucking wilderness or into the night. You know, she's she's kind of processing all that shit. She closes the door, uh-huh. and then you get the serv- servant, right? He's yeah. like, hey, how would you, you know? I, yeah. I live to serve you, yeah. kind of shit. And she's just Miss, like, mistress. what a wild fucking yeah. night. I got the bloodstone. I got help from, she's like, like clean unexpected, up this shit. Unsuspected, or unexpected fucking guest. Yeah. Like, I would have loved something like that because, like, that that's kind of played off as a joke. That's it's almost campy. That's what it's supposed to be. Like, I like it. It's campy. Right. It, it gives you... It, and you the, can like it. I'm just telling you, like, I don't like it. I know. It. You don't have to like it, it but I'm just telling you, I thing. understand it. You know, I understand where he's coming from. Would that been have been good, too? Yes, that would have been good. Is it necessary? No, not really. But does it work? Yes, it also does work. 
you know i thought i thought it was really good yeah we don't really need it because it's fucking this bitch has already had her time to shine in the screen yeah she already she already she, did a the great most, amount of yeah, fucking she did work the most. so you could have cut that shit yeah. out and just be like hey cut she got out. slaughtered by the fucking werewolf yeah yeah i would just say that it's supposed to be campy it's fucking 1941 fills it works you know what i also like is that finally you know when you see her relaxing after she talks to the fucking jeeves guy and like fucking clean this shit up bitch we get her like that relaxed feeling and she starts to turn to color and you see her red jacket and we get the over the rainbow song from uh, the wizard of oz and i like it you know yeah and then uh ted man thing piecing out and going to see uh jack russell is right. like the post Give us a real post credit, you piece of shit, Kevin mm. Feige. So far, best Disney Plus fucking feature, short, movie, whatever the fuck you want to call it, bomb.com. It was great. Yeah. I they, loved it. They attempted one style, and they attempted the, stu- the the tone of like a horror campy film. Or not even film, but you know. Yeah, it's, 1941's film, it, it did that all for me. So that was Werewolf by Night. And yeah. Werewolf by Night, like, it's been the best thing. Is it the best thing in Phase 4? I think there's obviously other movies that are great. I would have loved to see them attempt this movie in a fucking actual feature film. Of length. course. We all would have. Right? It just goes hey, you, without saying, I feel you, like. They, they could have released this shit in October and still make money. I, I, Bomb. Hands, dot com hands down, money. they could have made this money. This thing was great. They took a chance. Marvelous. It didn't have the expectations or the weight of, like... Miss Marvel or She Hulk, but it's still over delivered. Over achieved. It was. It was great. Yeah. And And that was Werewolf by Night. And we're the Phronesis Project. Hey, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Man, that's some good shit.